Hello my friends, here we are on Luminar Neo and in today's episode we will add steam to coffee. You can really add it to your food, to whatever you're photographing that you want to apply some steam to. Before we apply the steam, I want to take you into Lightroom and I photographed this, uh, really it's just a fog machine. But I want to show you, when I photographed it, I took some photos with a higher f-stop and I made sure the steam was in focus. And you see, it just does not look like steam. It just looks like, you know, smoke. It's too sharp. You can see too many details. If you look at it, that does not look like steam that would come from a coffee cup. So I took some other photos. Um, for example, this one, where I really made sure that I defocused and that way the, the steam looks a lot wispier and more delicate and just looks more like steam. So we would use one of these ones. So we'll go back to the Luminar Neo. And by the way, I will have the Steam photo onto the description below. You can go and download it and use it as you please. It's yours to use. And we will start with this image first. To import the Steam onto our layer, we'll go over here on the left side where it says Layers and Load Image. We'll click on Load Image and we will choose our Steam. Now it's loaded into our images. To apply it as a layer, you have to double click on it. And now it's applied on our image. It's a little bit squished because I took the photo in a landscape orientation. and This is like a portrait orientation photo. So I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit. I'm going to increase the opacity at 100% and then I am going to change the blending mode to screen. And there we have some steam. Now I'm going to make it even more narrow so it kind of fits my cup. Let's see, something like that. And then with the brush, I'm just going to paint where I want it to show. So maybe something like that. And now we have a coffee with steam you see before and after before and after let's move on to the next example we'll do this one so part if you want this to work for your images you have to make sure that your image you're using it's a darker tone so you can see the steam so we go back to editing we'll go to our layers we already have our steam layer because we import it and it stays into layers and I'll double click on it and it will apply to this image. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100% and then change the blending mode to screen. I'm going to de-squeeze it a little bit, add it over here, maybe something like that would look good. And then with my brush, I will just paint it where I want to see it. And that looks wonderful. So here is our before and after. Before and after. Let's do one more example. We'll do this one. And when I photographed this image, I did not use hot coffee. This is just instant coffee with cold water. That's something I use every time I take coffee photos. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go to edit. We'll add our layer. And opacity 100%, blending mode to screen. And it's too squished. We're going to de-squeeze it it where we want to see steam just like that and then with the brush we will just paint it where we want to see it will just be kind of like that and there you go maybe a little bit too high I'll erase them from here make it more pointy at the tip so this is our coffee before and after before and after Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to um, download your image from the description below. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.